So let's dive into Playground.ai, which is a really interesting photo editing tool similar to Photoshop. So here we have the main landing page, which is basically a news feed of community content. And let's go ahead and click a random piece of content. So it pulls up the image, the prompt that was used, and the specific AI tool that was used to create the image in the first place. And then you can also go in and see the original image that the person started with before editing it on AI Playground. So this was actually the original image that they edited to look like this. So now let's get into what we can do with this tool. What I'm gonna do is navigate to the top right of the screen. I'm gonna hit Create. And this brings us to our image editor interface. So we're gonna go ahead and upload an image. So let's go ahead and start with this image I created in Mid Journey. And we're gonna see what we can do to edit. So you can type in the changes that you want on this left sidebar. So let's do their example prompt. Add a mustache to this face. We'll start off with a silly example and then we'll see what else we can do. And there you have it. We clearly have our image updated. Now let's see if we can add wings to this person. Let's say actually add golden wings so it matches the image a little bit better. And here's our image, let's check it out. So it did a pretty decent job of adding an artistic spin to our image and you can literally, like the world is your oyster here. There's no limits to what you can add. It's just like Photoshop, but you don't need to have the years and years of skills to use that type of application. Now I just wanted to mention there are a few uh, parameters that you can change on the right side of the screen. You can change the uh, edit instruction strength, which is a higher value, is going to make your edited image closer to your instructions. So it's gonna have less creativity for the AI and it's gonna take what you say a lot more literally. The second one is the quality and detail. The higher the value, the higher the quality, but the longer the image is gonna take. And lastly, it's gonna randomize and generate a random seed for every single input. You can turn this off if you want a multiple number of your prompts to have a similar output. So you can put in a specific seed number, generate that output. If you like it, great. Keep your seed number the same. Um, if you don't need that, then just keep it as randomized and it's going to pop out a different look every single time you use a prompt. And the last thing I wanted to mention, there's also a remove from image function that you can toggle on and off. So I suggest that you go ahead and get in there and play around with this function as well.